to see a kid go down like that is so seriously and to leave on a stretcher. This one had all the indications that, you know, he might not make it. Whether he made it or not, we didn't know. I don't remember much. I just remember that we were about to start playing basketball, which is like my favorite sport. And then he asked us to do the running, and I did like, I think, two laps and then got super tired and asked for a drink of water, and then that's when I hit the floor. And I heard a thud on the floor behind me, and I turned around immediately, and Levi was laid out on the floor next to the drinking fountain. So I dropped my clipboard and ran to, to him immediately and actually started doing an assessment. So I ran over to... Um to see what was going on. He was already doing some initial assessments on Levi and um, things didn't, he didn't look good. I mean, right off his body, his color, everything looked very different than any other typical fainting or anything like that we had seen. So I ran right to the office to get our administration. Emergency. I'm calling from Raymond Junior High School. Okay. We have a student in PE that just dropped down, passed out. And so when I came, Mike took over student control for a while and I took over the compressions. Um, and Chris Broderick, right with me, assumed uh, he would do the respirations. So we knew from Mike that we didn't have a pulse, we didn't have any breathing, uh, and we immediately went to work on that. I've been trained by the Red Cross in CPR, and um, I'd never used it before, never anticipated using it before. You know, working with 13-year-olds, you don't anticipate um, cardiac arrest. I set up the AED, uh, waited for them to finish their cycle, and then set the AED up on Levi, um, and then proceeded to follow the instructions that it gives you um, which is where we shocked him, uh, and then they went back to the uh, compressions and breathing until the uh, emergency services arrived. When they first arrived, uh, we thought that they would uh, be taking over. Uh, they took a look at what we were doing and, and did a quick assessment, and they said, you guys are fine, and, and we later found out that meant you were performing this correctly, so you keep going while we get set up. But it was one of those things where when it happened, the training kind of kicked in and it was just like there was stuff to do and we needed to make sure we did it correctly. Uh, afterwards, um, you kind of get flooded with all these like, wow, what did we just do? What just happened? The uh, event happened on a Thursday night. Uh, they took him to the hospital. By Saturday, uh, there were signs that he was going to come out of it. And by Sunday, we knew he was going to make it. They saved his life because it started when they took the time to learn CPR. When they took the time to go to the classes, learn CPR, learn how to use an AED, and learn how to save someone's life. It started then. To go and see him in the hospital, and we got there and big, huge grinning face and glasses on and just kind of sitting in his hospital bed. If he hadn't have been in the hospital, you would have just thought he was in bed. They saved my life, and now I get to live on and hopefully have like a normal life, and now I'm closer to them than ever. This was truly a life-saving, tangible event for all of the team here that was in, and you just, can't explain that feeling of when they come back to school from a near-death experience. I'll never forget it. It's just, it's a deep inside satisfying feeling that here he is and, and you're a part of this young man's life for the rest of his life will be ever linked. Each one of them are heroes in our eyes because they worked so hard on Levi. They, every single one of them had a job breathing. Um, chest compressions, the AED, taking the time of his pulse, you know, it was just every single one of them worked so hard and they never, ever gave up. They never quit. I'm just really thankful for them saving me and they're just like my favorite people in the world now. Our family is whole because of them.